Just a quick question. Is science dying? This question may seem outrageous, even absurd to some, but the idea that science might be reaching its end isn't as far-fetched as it first appears. This viewpoint is not coming from a place of ignorance or science denial, but from within the scientific community itself. Consider the provocative argument put forth by science journalist John Horgan. In his controversial book, The End of Science, Horgan claims that science has essentially halted and won't start again. He suggests that all the big discoveries, the game changers, have already been made. This perspective isn't isolated. Renowned cosmologist John Barrow echoes similar sentiments, arguing that knowledge about the laws of nature is either finite or infinite. If it's finite, then there's a possibility that we have reached the end of knowledge expansion. We might have discovered all there is to discover. Now, this concept of a finite limit to scientific discovery is a contentious one. It sparks heated debates and raises crucial questions about the nature and future of scientific exploration. Yet, it's essential to consider this perspective. Not to accept it blindly, but to examine it critically. Science, after all, is built on questions. And one of the most pressing questions in many scientific disciplines today remains unanswered. From the dark matter in physics to the mystery of consciousness in neuroscience, there's no shortage of unknowns. These unanswered questions point to an intriguing possibility. Perhaps we are at a stage where we have mapped out the broad contours of the universe and what remains are details. Important details, no doubt, but details nonetheless. So is science dying? The jury is still out. But the question itself is a testament to the power of scientific inquiry. It pushes the boundaries, challenges the status quo, and forces us to confront uncomfortable possibilities. The question is not a declaration of defeat, but a call to arms. It's an invitation to dig deeper, push harder, and prove that science has much more to offer. Perhaps we have reached a phase in human development when the big discoveries have been made, or perhaps, just perhaps, we're on the brink of the next big breakthrough. Only time and science will tell. Before proceeding further, why don't you like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our work? Thank you. Yet the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. The enigma of dark matter, the enigmatic force of gravity, and the perplexing measurement problem in quantum mechanics are all monumental challenges that the scientific world grapples with. These issues, however, are not impervious to our understanding. We currently possess the mathematical and technological prowess to unravel these mysteries. It's just a matter of time before we unlock the secrets that they hold. Let's take a moment to consider the complex phenomenon of the butterfly effect. This concept, which is deeply rooted in chaos theory, suggests that a tiny change in one state of a deterministic non-linear system can result in vast differences in a later state. To put it simply, a butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil can cause a tornado in Texas. As mind-boggling as it sounds, this concept is a testament to the intricate interconnections that define our universe. Then there are self-organized adaptive systems, systems that spontaneously form structured behaviors in the absence of a central authority. These systems can be seen in a variety of contexts, from the flocking behavior of birds to the formation of galaxies. Understanding these systems requires a deep dive into the realm of advanced mathematics, but therein lies the challenge. Our current mathematical methods, while robust, are not yet sophisticated enough to fully comprehend these complex phenomena. We are like explorers standing on the shore of a vast ocean, gazing out at the horizon, knowing that there's an entire world out there to discover. If only we had the right tools to navigate the treacherous waters. So is science dying? Far from it. Science is still evolving, still pushing the boundaries of what we know and understand. The answers to the fundamental questions about nature are within our reach. But to grasp them, we need to develop more advanced mathematical methods. We need to evolve our tools and our minds. Only then can we truly unlock the secrets that the universe holds. Science is still evolving. The answers to the fundamental questions about nature are within our reach but we need to develop more advanced mathematical methods. Science is not ending, it's evolving. Imagine standing on the precipice of a vast canyon. The canyon represents the immense challenge science is facing today. It's the challenge of understanding complex systems, systems that are neither micro nor macroscopic, but somewhere in between the mesoscopic range. 
This mesoscopic range is the wild west of scientific research. It's an untamed frontier where the laws of physics as we know them start to lose their grip and chaos and complexity take over. It's the realm of the stock market's volatile fluctuations, of the intricacies of nuclear fusion and the unpredictable dynamics of human societies. Scientists are like explorers charting the unknown territories of this mesoscopic range. They're on a quest to discover new laws of nature that can help us understand these complex systems. But it's not an easy task. The terrain is rough and the maps are yet to be drawn. Why is this so significant, you might ask? Well, understanding these complex systems could revolutionize our world. Imagine being able to accurately predict stock market trends or mastering nuclear fusion to provide limitless clean energy. Imagine understanding societal dynamics well enough to prevent conflict and promote harmony. The potential is staggering. However, it's not just about the potential benefits, it's also about survival. Our world is facing global problems of unprecedented scale, climate change, pandemics, overpopulation, nuclear war. These are complex systems too, and to solve them, we need to understand them. So is science dying? No, it's standing at the edge of a vast, unexplored frontier. It's facing challenges, yes. But with each challenge comes an opportunity for growth, for discovery, for evolution. The future of science is not a closed book. It's an open-ended journey of discovery, and it's up to us as a collective humanity to ensure that journey continues. Because the future of science depends on our ability to understand complex systems and organize scientific research. Together, we can solve global problems such as climate change, pandemics, overpopulation and nuclear war.